Hi you guys, welcome to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am sharing some new furniture and decor updates in my home office as well as some organization and general cleaning. If you're new to my channel, this room is my home office slash craft room slash beauty room. So it serves a lot of purposes for me and I spend a lot of time in here. So this black rolling Ikea storage drawer has been with me for many years and it had just started to fall apart. The drawers were sinking in, it was just getting really beat up. So I decided it was time for a replacement and I really wanted a white one. So I bought a new one at Ikea and Sam put it together for me and I am just switching over all of my office supplies, crafting items, everything that I keep in these drawers. I love these drawers because they're so flat and wide, so you can store larger pieces of paper and artwork in here, which I love. You will notice that almost my entire room is Ikea. I did not do that on purpose, but I do love Ikea. <laughs> I didn't really change anything as far as the way I organized the drawers because pretty much how I had it set up was working for me. And then over in the corner next to my closet, I had just this Billy bookshelf from Ikea, which I am moving to a different part of my house because I've got some new shelves to install in here. So I'm completely emptying this out and getting ready for it to move. So where my pink cube storage shelf was laying down is where my new shelf system is gonna be. So it's a couple of shelves that are from the PAX closet system. So they're gonna have some really good storage and organization for me. What I'm doing is clearing out this pink cubicle shelf and that is going to stand upright and go where the white bookshelf was. And Sam was nice enough to put together most of this for me, and here's how that is looking. I found this glittery acrylic moon shelf at Home Goods a few months ago. I'm absolutely in love with it. When I saw it, I knew it had to come home with me, but one of the shelves on it is like crooked and there's nothing I can do about it and it kind of drives me nuts every time I look at it. And then because of where the pack shelves were going, I had to move my mirror over to a new spot. And then just for an extra touch and a little bit more of an upgrade, I decided to put some peel and stick wallpaper in the back of my PAX shelves. So I bought this beautiful white and gold paper from Amazon. It is by Temp Paper. I said this in my vlog, but I'll say it again. Peel and stick wallpaper is a complete pain to work with. It is very frustrating, but if you have patience, you can do some really magical things with it. Since the bottom half of my shelves are all drawers, I only did the wallpaper down to where the drawers are as to not waste my time or materials. So I'm also putting up some window valances in my office. 
I've lived in this house for two years and I had not put up any window treatments in here yet. I feel like window treatments and light fixtures are something I really struggle with with decor. I never make the right choices the first time around. I also hate all the stupid little holes that are left in IKEA furniture for like adjustable shelves. So I bought this set of these little white plugs to go in and plug up all the remaining unused holes in the pack shelves. Uh, this sucked. This is where if I had a kid, I would put them to work. I did go back and pound them in with a rubber mallet too, just to make sure they're all in there. And now I'm gonna start organizing my drawers and putting all my decor on my shelves. I also put some of the peel and stick wallpaper on the first drawer with like the clear front on it. I need to do the other one, I didn't do it yet. So this big drawer I am using to hold and display a bunch of my Bath & Body Works candles. I am a little concerned about the weight in this drawer, but I really like the way they all look in here lined up. Eventually I'm gonna get another one of the clear glass shelves to go over the pull-out tray on the wider packs. But no kidding you guys, Ikea has been sold out of everything and anytime my local Ikea gets a replenishment of some stock, it's gone almost instantly. It's kind of crazy. So it's taken quite a few months actually for me to gather all the parts and pieces for this PAX unit since nothing was all available at the same time. just received this beautiful little heart tiered tray from my niece Ramona and I was so excited to display it on my shelves. I put a bunch of my favorite bracelets on it. Thank you so much Ramona. I absolutely love it. And basically on all the shelves I wanted to have them be a combination of like pretty decor as well as useful storage for the things that I grab for frequently. I recently posted a video about how I made these faux rose boxes. I really like how these turned out. If you're interested in making one of your own, I'll have the video linked below for you guys. I really didn't have too much else to store up at the top shelves, so I just put some decorative boxes and bags. Pretty boxes and bags I think are a great way to hide and store some of your junk. And then over on my pink cubicle shelf, it was really dusty and dirty. I hadn't cleaned it in a while. So I'm using some of my Sapodilla cleaner to wipe down all of my shelves. And then I'm just going in and rearranging and redecorating them. I'm putting more of my like office stationary supplies over here. I also bought a bunch more of these magazine file folder holder things. I really love these. I had a bunch in black and I decided I want to change all of mine to white. Kind of frivolous I know, but they are budget friendly. And then I am giving my closet a good cleaning and reorganization as well. All right, and now I'm moving on to my desk. The drawer right to my left of where I sit can get so cluttered and messy since this is like where I'm grabbing from most of the time. I took the whole organizer out and just dumped it on my floor. It was kind of a bad idea because it did make a huge mess. 
but I went through everything and resorted it back into the drawer. The little organizer thing you see inside is from Ikea as well. Next time I go, I actually wanna buy a few more of these. And then on the other side of my desk is kind of my little makeup station. I'm giving that a good cleaning as well. Usually when I clean this, there's always something for me to throw away or declutter, but I have hardly bought and or wore makeup in the past year, you guys. It's pretty crazy. So my collection is probably the most bare bones it's ever been. guys I've finished cleaning organizing setting up everything is brand new fresh and clean it feels so good in here I'm gonna give you guys a little mini tour and just kind of give you a little overview of the space here's a look at how the full packs shelf system turned out this obviously isn't some high-end piece of furniture it is very utilitarian but for this being like a budget-friendly option for like storage closet situations i think i did a pretty good job of upgrading it a little bit with the wallpaper plugging the holes and then what i still plan to do you guys is put some gold knobs on the drawers just to elevate it even a little bit more Like I told you guys, I really struggle with window treatments and light fixtures. It always takes me a couple of tries to get them right. I really like these valances, but my windows are two different sizes and I feel like this one looks a little goofy. Like I think the valance is a little too small for it. While looking at this one, that looks a lot better to me. So it's kind of unfortunate that that one looks a little bit wonky. I don't really know what I'm gonna do about it. I did just order some window shades to go up here, like light filtering, privacy, just kind of basic white shades, the same ones I have in my bedroom. So hopefully that'll make it look a little bit more finished. But otherwise I'm like super annoyed about that valence looking dumb while I think that one looks great. My workspace is all cleaned up. I just changed my backgrounds out. I swear you guys, as soon as Christmas is over, I am like done, done with winter. I want everything warm, tropical, and beachy. I seriously cannot wait to take a vacation. 